Well, we are here. Good morning, everyone. I have not been to the Durham Rescue Mission outlets in about three weeks. So I thought I would give it a chance today and see what we may be able to find and thought I would take you along with me. I'll try to do as much filming as I can inside, but if I get lucky and the pickings are good, I may have to pick more and film less. But let's see what happens. Come in, we're open. That's what we like to see. Well, here's our first bin. It is super, super dark in here today. That looks like a good piece. Oh, that's a possibility. Let's put these in the cart. Plastics galore. Oh, here's part of an ice bucket. It's George Briard. Gotta find the top to this. Oh, keep your fingers crossed, everybody. I'll be very disappointed if I can't find a top to that ice bucket. I might get lucky. We have dessert first. This is cute. I'm just going to take that off. Just have to clean it up a little bit. Oh, there's another one. Yes. Ain't that the truth? a little bit, turn off the camera, and then I will be back. Oh, what is this? Just the globe. I wonder if we can find the other pieces parts for it. Put that in the cart. Okay, well, let me hunt for a little bit, and then I'll be back. Okay, here we are in another bin. Found a few things. They do really well on, uh, on uh, Facebook Marketplace, but this one is the door is all rusted on it, so I'm going to pass on it. George Freeman ice 
guys pakita kita 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 but I am looking for today are some little cheese things and I'm looking for a the flannel black backed tablecloth so I do have a couple of things on my thrift list for today. We'll see how successful I am. Sorry if I spun you around a little too fast or something. Oh, SpaghettiOs! I used to love SpaghettiOs when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a little napkin ring. That's adorable. Oh, that's cute. It would be cuter if it didn't have the heart in the center. So I think I'll leave that behind. Oh, I do like to pick these up. I think they are working. Oh, this one is working. It has to be cleaned off, but... Okay. And that one's going on with this. This is a desk plaque mold. Hmm. 19, what did that say? the second best thing I've done. Finding you is the first. That's cute. There's a year. Oh, there's a year on that. I can't make it out. It's funny. The atmosphere in here has changed. Oh, that's the second one. The bees we've seen. A forever bread bag. Oh, can I use these? for when I send out things other than brown. I might be able to use these though, but when I ship out things from Poshmark, I put them into bread bags just in case the, um, I'm gonna go put these in the cart, just in case the box gets wet so that the item inside doesn't get wet. So I might be able to use those. We'll put them away and we will think about it. Okay, there's only a couple of more bins to go. Oh, we've already been through that one. Here, this is the one we were on. Well, definitely the atmosphere in here has changed the vibe. Oh, rolling pin. We'll always pick that up. See how dark it is inside here today. What is this? Oh, Campbell's Chunky Chili. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
one's a chalkware piece. Paint is coming off of it. Might think about this one. Salad fork, I believe, for tossing salad and serving it. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, we have to get that. That is a pig cutting board. We could definitely spruce this pig cutting board up. Okay, time to go back to the cart. I'll be right back. Okay. Put those away. Still, no top to that ice bucket. Darn. I would consider that if it wasn't. Oh, it's really chipped up on the back and kind of yellowed. These Tupperware glasses did not do well for me. In fact, I don't think I sold any of them, so those are going to have to stay. Okay, we have one more bin of hard goods, which is right here. And let's see what we can find in here. Oh, that's cute. It's probably an older piece. Oh, this is a cute little basket. Looks like a teacup. <laughs> we might have to get that and just put some florals in it. Walmart. This looks old to me, vintage to me. I'm gonna have to check and see if I can. Oh, here we go. Um, hmm. It's not a toy made in Hong Kong, package printed. I do not see a date on it. Contents made in China. Okay, I'm not sure if this is vintage or not. I might just go ahead and leave it then. I'm not sure. And we have cart full right now. Which I'll show you as soon as we finish going through this bin here. That's some Tupperware. The top is missing. And there's so much, so many pieces, parts now that I tend not to pick up the Tupperware unless it is complete. That's a nice bunt pan. It's very heavy. I have to think about that. This I wanted to look at, but, oh yeah, way damaged there. All right, let me give you a look at the cart. And what I do is I just pile everything in my cart that I think I would be interested in. And then I take it all out, go through it, and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to put back. So stay tuned to the end of the video, which is coming up right next, and I will show you my haul. Well, I hope you enjoyed the shop along with me at the bins. What did I spend? I spent with tax a total of $20.22. I'm gonna show you the, the haul right now. Some of the things you saw during the shop along 
some of the things you didn't see because I had the camera turned off. And after I turned off the camera, I went ahead and went through the clothing bins and I found several vintage pieces and a couple of things for myself. So here's a breakdown. Uh, let's see, apparel, which includes shoes and bags. They charge $1.49 a pound and I had 7.2 pounds. So all the clothing that I'm going to show you, the bags and the one pair of shoes cost $10.73. Their housewares are 59 cents per pound. And I had 13.7 pounds and that came to $8.08. And then with the tax, we come to $20.22. I'm going to go ahead and show you the clothes, the bags, and the shoes first. Now the first bag, I can't believe Sunday didn't snatch this one up. I think this is fantastic. It's a woven bag. It's a little on the like the hard side. Now right here is a little tiny bit of an issue in that it comes more like to a point rather than being rounded. And I don't know if there's really anything that I can do about that. There's a little bit of a mark on this side. Oh, and I see it on this side too. So you might, you know, <laughs> it might be that it's the actual color. Oh yes, cause look at that. There's a bit of a pattern there. Okay, you can't see them here, but I have uh, I have Valerie right below me and Lewis, everyone's favorite. And let's try this side. Yep, it looks like it's a pattern. Okay, good, so it's not a stain. And it's sort of a clamshell opening here. It's not lined or anything, but I think this is just a fantastic bag. Um, this one I picked up too. This one will be going up into the booth as well. This is, this is not a vintage bag. And I don't know this manufacturer. I'm going to show it to, oh, here we go. Uh, RFD, I think it might say. A little hard to make out. You guys might be able to see it. Yeah, I think that's RFD, but this is a fantastic bag. I love this little toggle here with the fringe. Uh, has an outside pocket there. Magnetic closure. Two areas with lots of pockets and zippers inside. Really in beautiful condition. Look out, Lewis. Come on, bud. Pair of shoes that I picked up. Just one pair. These are for my Whoops. Hold on. Just drop something. Boy, my mouth is not working today. These are from, who is this? Oh, here we go. Adventure On. I'm not sure that I've ever heard of them. I got these for me, though. I tried them on. They do fit. I'll spray them down with Lysol really well. Put them outside for a little bit. Let them air out. I uh, like the Velcro closure on them. These, like I said, are for me. And then I picked this up for myself. This is from Corey America. I just thought it was really pretty, very kind of springtime into summer. And I like the bit of a longer sleeve. Oh, dear. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. That's part of the pattern. Okay, <laughs> boy, oh boy, I saw this, see that, that shading right there? I saw that almost under the arm and I thought, oh gosh, nasty, but it's not, it's part of the pattern. See, it's up here too, and it's all over the blouse, so that's good. Now this, couldn't believe I found this, brand new with the tags on. Hey, free people. This is going to be going up on Poshmark. So let me show it to you first. Here it is. It's kind of a really a nothing. Not spectacular, but free people is crazy expensive. And you will see what I mean. $98 originally this cost. So somebody paid $98 for this, and I guess they decided they didn't want it. So 
very happy to pick that up and put that on Poshmark. Uh, oh, here's a couple of the vintage pieces. I thought this kind of looked, what, grainy chic maybe or something. But isn't that pretty? I love the pastel pink on it and the pretty detailing around the neckline and around the keyhole in the back. And then it's also around the sleeves and around the hem, too. This is from Mar Margul's Made in Korea. I thought I would give a try and see how vintage clothes might go up in the booth. I'm not going to go crazy with them. Um, just a few pieces to start off with and just see how they do. This is not the perfect time for this, but I did pick it up. And I don't know if they call that a cowl neck, but this is a vintage sweater. It is from Sweet Briar. Uh, let me see here. Made in Hong Kong. So I may have to wait for that until fall, winter coming this year. And the other piece that is vintage I picked up is this wonderful, I guess is that like a velour uh, house coat? It's long to the ground, zip, zipper works because I tried it. And this is from at home wear from Sears. Where does, this is a small 7-8 made in the USA. So I think somebody is going to love this. There is not a pocket on that side, but yet it has a pocket on the right side. This too might be something that I'm going to wait until uh, the cooler weather hits to try it up in the booth. But the pink sweater, the white with the pink, I'm definitely going to put that in the booth uh, now. And then I bought for Diesel just an, another blanket, a nice fuzzy blanket. He likes to lay in the sun in the morning when it comes through my sliding doors in the back. So I thought I would get him a blanket that I can leave kind of on the floor there for him. And he can go and curl up and make a little nest anytime he wants to there. So that, yep, that is all the clothing that I picked up. Now we can switch to the hard goods. Um, and I did want to say, um, over the past week or so, I have gained a lot of new subscribers, which has made me just tickled pink. I'm so excited. So to all the new subscribers to my channel, I want to welcome all of you. And to the folks that have been with me, oh, I got a fuzzy, for a while, I want to uh, welcome you back. And thank you for sticking it out with me so much. I hope you continue to enjoy the videos. If you do like this one, and if you liked the, the shop along with me, um, let me know. As I'm going to try and do some more of those. I always say that I'm not very good at it, but to get good, you have to keep doing it. So if you enjoy them, let me know either in the comment section down below or leave me a thumbs up. On to the hard goods. Yes, I picked up the pig uh, cutting board. I had to. I just had to. I'm hoping that that, if that's a burn mark and I can actually feel it, I'm hoping that that is going to sand off. But I love this thing and I, I had to get that had to. Found uh, a rolling pin. This, I don't remember if I showed this to you in the shop along or not, but look at how cool that is. Isn't that neat? I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. Uh, I'm, hmm, I think I'm going to leave it just the wood as it is. I'm going to touch it up with a little bit of old English first. Um, just to kind of bring it back to life a little bit. I'm going to try it in the booth as is and see if it sells like that. Uh, oh, and on that kind of same theme there, I picked up this dove on this wooden dove on this kind of dowel and then on this base here. Now this I do think I am going to paint. Um, I think I'm going to do this a white and then, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, he's just checking it out. And this, I think I'm going to put some kind of transfer on or something, maybe a floral 
I just think it would, I don't know. I just think it would give it more, a little bit more life. Picked up one, um, I guess a plate stand or a picture stand. I've decided in my booth, I'm only going to pick up now the ones that are, or to use in my booth, I should say, are that are wooden or like this. It's kind of unusual. It's sort of this ro twisted rope design and I'm not put any of the plastic. In fact, I've taken all of the plastic ones out of my booth, but I'll be using that up there. Um, I found a uh, diesel, a new bowl. This is nice. It's nice, heavy one. So I'll be able to feed him in that once I wash that all up. I'm sure that he's going to love that. And then this is also for Diesel. It's called Potty Here. I have no idea if this works or not. It's you, The idea is to spray it where you want your pet to go potty. And I guess it's supposed to attract them. It says helps train puppies and dogs of all eight of all ages uh, where to potty great for outdoor artificial grass and puppy pads so I'm willing to give it a shot we'll see if it works where is wait I want to show you one piece first before I show this to you oh here it is I did pick up that little basket that was shaped like the teacup now I found some vintage tacky plastic fruit, but I thought it would be perfect in here. I, I mean, doesn't that look cool? I think it looks really cute. Now one of these, I was lucky enough to find it in the bin, it had broken off, so I'll just fix that. But I think that looks adorable like that. That's, I mean, great for spring into summer. So I picked that up. Whoops, stay there. Be careful now. Be careful. Go ahead. See, she's getting better. <laughs> she crossed over that time like a champ. Oh, and Lewis, is, Lewis has to follow. I got this wooden block just to uh, do a, a craft project on. Now this, I, I vacillated. I picked it up, put it in my cart. I put it back and then I just thought, thought, thought about it. So I ended up getting it. And I mostly got it because of the stars that are on it and then this eagle that's on it. I thought maybe for the, for the, um, oh my gosh, like 4th of July, Memorial Day, something like that, I can try and put this in my booth. It would make a great planter. I mean, a, a nice sized pot would fit into there. Uh, but it's going to have to be painted, sanded down and painted. Uh, it is put together with these little, I'm going to guess they're brass, little nails. I mean, I think it's a really cool piece. It's all wood. So we'll see if I end up upcycling it or donating it. I did pick up that candle because, like I said, I love to pick these up. Because whenever I have like a candle holder or something in my booth, I do like to add the candle to it. This just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and it'll be good to go. Okay, kind of see what he was doing. Picked this wooden block up as well. Now these two did go together, so it's like three weeks. I'm not quite sure what, I guess you do like three weeks, uh, years, grade three, What's the other three weeks? So it's some sort of calendar, but it may have been missing another block um, because, you know, you like see you have like 10 weeks and you need a zero over here. So it might have been missing a block. There were two sifters there that day. I picked this one up. This is from Foley, a five cup sifter. This has some rust on it. So this is going to be sold as a decorative only. I remember using my mom's on the rare times that I did bake, actually with my sister. My sister and I used to bake together, but I can remember using my mom's. But there was another uh, aluminum sifter there uh, when I was at the bins, same day that I picked this up. But this part here was getting stuck because the inside of it was kind of messed up. So I decided to leave that one behind. Then there is 
the George Briard bottom of the ice bucket. I did not find the top. I got it anyway. You just never know if I might come, ac come across a top for it at some point in time. Wishful, wishful thinking. Picked those two up. I never met a cookie I didn't like, and life is short, eat dessert first. And then they have the measures on the back here. Just have to clean that one up a bit, well, both of them, and get off that paper. But I thought they were kind of cute. I found tape a little too, little too late. I was short on tape the other day. I needed it so desperately, I didn't have any. I did end up going to the store to get some, and then what do you know, I find some at the bin. Found this adorable little, I don't, maybe a fishing boat it's supposed to be. I just thought it was really cute. Uh, no markings on the bottom of it or anything. It is all wood, but I thought it'd be a cute little thing to put up in my booth for, you know, a couple of dollars. Uh, these are Medusa Positano. I'm going to have to do some research into that because I have no idea what that is. These are identical, but look at how sweet these little bowls are. Oh my goodness. Now they're tiny. I'm not sure what you would put into them. That are that. I suppose you could put like a jelly or a jam in them at the side of your uh, plate, you know, for breakfast or something. But I was really happy to find two of them and they were in really good condition. And I wanted to save them, too, before they ended up getting broken. I found this is for myself. I love these little kind of just uh, custard bowls or something. This is, is this Pyrex? Um, wait, let me turn that way. You know, I don't know if it's Pyrex or not. Actually, it doesn't even matter. That's for myself. This was over to the side, and I am glad it was on a table over to the side. It wasn't even in a bin, but it's brass, and this could be for business cards. Or you could be fancy and put your gum into here. Uh, I suppose you could even use it as a, a pill container traveling, but I thought it was really, really pretty design on the outside. And it's in good condition, a little, like a couple, there's a little dent right there. But overall, it's in really nice condition and very, very pretty. Found this little tiny brass anchor. And then another one of those uh, reamers, you know, for uh, lemons or limes or something. I have one up in the booth right now. Has not sold, so maybe I'll keep this one for myself. And then this is from, this is the last thing, yeah, last thing I have to show you from Coco Moon Hawaii. This is really cute. Now you would use this for like a new baby when they have their pictures taken. And you would put like a card next to the picture. Uh, 11, wait a minute here, hold on. Oh, there. There is Aloha, I'm here. And hello world. Oh, baby. And then it goes one week, a month, and then it goes all the way up to, uh, where are we, 11 months. And then the final one is one year. So I was really happy that these were all here. Um, I can tell you in my experience shopping at the bins, they wouldn't have stayed in here. Um, someone would have taken a couple of them out, decided they didn't want it, and rather than putting them back into the bag that they came in, they would just dump them into the bins. That, that happens. It happens a lot, sadly. So I just have to fix the string on here. I'm not quite sure what happened on the string on the bag, but I thought that was pretty cool, too. So that is it. That's it. What is my favorite from today's haul? Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this is, you might think it's the pig cutting board because I like that so much. However, as strange as this might seem, it's going to be the little teacup basket. And once I get these 
this uh, vintage tacky plastic fruit put in here and the floor or the greenery put in there. That is going to be my favorite. I really like the look of that. I'm not really quite sure why, but it just really tickles me. So this is my favorite. So don't forget, um, if you are new to my channel, I always ask everyone to let us know what your favorite find was from this haul. Put it in the uh, comment section down below. And again, if you did enjoy the haul, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and share the video with uh, family, whoever that uh, you know enjoys the thrift haul videos and shop alongs. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and you know what to do until next time, everybody. Please take very, very good care of yourselves and bye for now.